illegal primary imo abga allegedly swindles female aspirant of 10 million naira denied her ticket this is prudent news on prudent mstv for many years the all progressive grand alliance abga in imo state is yet to find solution to its inability to conduct a free fair primary at every given time the primary of the party always end in controversy following the sharp practices of the national and state executives of the party who only cares about the quick money they could make for themselves other than the well-being of the party. These were the summation of one of the party's aspirants, Ngozi Ariri Guzo, in the Imo state governorship election come November 2023. Ngozi Ariri Guzo, who is one of the few female aspirants in the race, narrates bitterly how the party's executive, led by Victor Oye at the national and John Iwala at the state level, colluded to swindle her of her money with the many lies told to her. That what has been happening in Abga every four, four years, 2018 precisely and other years back, these stories are not palatable at all. I told them that by coming into Abga, I have come to rebuild Abga and to give hope to the hopeless at credence. According to her, upon her purchase of the form, she was told no one else is contesting on the platform of the party and the likelihood that she may emerge their consensus candidate is high. But the party officials did not keep to plan. Instead, they brought I in a male counterpart and the person of Tony Ejogu held a kangaroo primary outside the scheduled please. venue for the primary and declared him and winner. Sure. Party faithful who felt aggrieved yeah, over the ill mated at Ngozi went on rampage destroying valuables at the party secretariat. That if that primary was conducted on Sunday, I would have beaten my opponent as down because i have the support of the women I have the support of the youth my coming into abga is a blessing to abga speaking further she called on the party's executive and to correct any, themselves and conduct a proper uh, fresh primary any, other than trying to scheme her out and imposing an unfit candidate under the party through the back door while urging the party faithful and our supporters to keep calm, Ngozi vowed to leave no stone unturned in ensuring that she reclaim her stolen mandate. I think their form is 15,000 for men, 15 million, and for women is half of the money, 7.5. And they told me that there's no other person that has bought the form in Abga. Because of that, I raised another 2.5 million. For them to give me the ticket. So in all you spent 10 million. Naira. Yes, I gave them. So Abga collected your 10 million naira. I raised a draft. And they are million. denying you of the ticket. Yes. Okay now. Okay. Uh, let me I want Sunday. When contacted, the state chairman of the party, Mr. John Iwala, said it is true that the said woman purchased the party's nomination and expression of interest form at the tune of 7.5 million naira. He also confirmed that she equally gave the party additional 2.5 million naira for other logistics, totaling up to 10 million naira. But she could not secure the waiver of the party from the national executives who decide what happens in the party. For Ngozi Ariri Guzo, just like her name implies, she will not take the insult. She will fight it to a logical conclusion, she said. From Imo State, Southeast Nigeria, Ajibade Awofeso, Prudent, MSTV News.